right back on another brief video. I can see the sea now and somewhere on the map I think it mentioned a mound. Which could mean a burial mound. I mean there was a lot of Saxon activity out here. 800 so B AD. There was a lot of Saxon stuff going on. And um Yeah, what I'm going to do this, I don't know how long this is going to take me or anything. Whether I'm going to go out my depth. I really don't know. But, um... What always amazes me is that you don't see a lot of people out enjoying the weather. I can just, you know, you just don't seem to see many people around. <sighs> Even when it's school holidays. Right, over there, it's not like I said, it's not very good for photography today, but I'm doing it anyway. This is more of a recce more than anything. There's Steep Home, which I went on in 2012. <sighs> Six years ago already. Weston's right over there where I live, of course. There's uh, the lovely harvest field. And I think I'm going to be walking all around the coast there in a minute. Uh, I did actually have seen somebody moving then. This is just like a little, little bit of exploring that I'm doing. Like I said, I, I like going up on the Mendips. I know my way around the Mendips now. But look at all this. This is the Quantox, which I love. And I've been actually all over there. I have explored most of the Quantox now. And I've still got those various little combs I've got to go up or down. But uh, basic geography of it, I, I know. But this is all new. And like I said, this the coastline here is what I came up the other day. There's um, Hinkley Point over there, look. That's Hinkley Point. You never always know what's going on with that. Sometimes there's loads of activity. And then they lay off a lot of people. I've heard that they've laid a lot of people off. They've, got, they've built special roads through Cannington to get to Hinkley Point. They've got put on, um, they've employed lots of bus drivers. Now you just imagine if they keep putting people off, like laying them off for a while, what are those bus drivers going to do if they've got no workers to take to work? Yeah, see, they've already harvested everything. Harvest has come as far as I'm concerned. So it's um, a month early. I must be hitting the coast in a minute. Yeah, because what it was, I came out, before I'd gone down into the dip, um, yeah, I can, I can see it from here. I'll just zoom in, I can see the warning sign down there. Wait a minute. There's the other, there's where I've got to go through, that gate over there. Let's hope we, we are able to. And then I'll be walking down, there's the sea, there's the coast. Whether there's a quicker way down, who knows. There's a bit of a lake down there, look. And then you've got the coastline all round there, look. Watch it. You've got you've got blue anchor. Then you'll go further round, you've got you'll have minehead over that way somewhere where that big rock is. That's minehead. Like I say, it won't come out very good today. But 
What I'll do, I'll link up with that route. I know there might be a way down through there. It's possible there is. But I don't know, do I? I could come up against a barbed wire fence and not be able to get out. We just follow this little road. We'll, we'll follow this bit round. Oh yeah, I can see some people. See, there could have been people that parked after me because I went in the church. See, there's some people walking there. Man and a woman. Oh, and somebody else. And it might, might have actually been quicker to go up the other way. I've got no idea. All I know is I'm exploring and it doesn't matter if I've come up here to do it. Because basically I'm getting a wider view. So though it might seem well surely you could have gone the other way and you would have been there 20 minutes earlier. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. just nice to be out. I mean it's been really it's been too hot for me to be quite honest. It's actually been a bit too hot for me to when it's um the last couple of days especially yesterday we're absolutely baking. Um at least today there's a gentle cool breeze and I mean, it can change. There's a gentle cool breeze and there's, a, there's some cloud. So for when we're doing a recce, a bit of exploring. Because it always takes you longer, or it seems longer, when you first do an, a walk for the first time. Um, it always seems like it takes forever. But when you go back another time, you realise that It doesn't take that long. It's just in your mind. Obviously you can watch your clock. I don't want to make it a race or... But that's the other thing, when you don't know, and it's not from A to B straight and flat, it's up and down like this, you don't know how long. So even though you might only do a three to five mile walk, it could be like doing a 20 mile walk because it's up and down. God, there's some good views over here. I look through there. More views of the cliff top where I was the other day all along there. Walked parts of that. Hinkley Point again. And I'm going to be heading all around that bit there where those people have gone ahead of me. <sighs> yeah. Over and out. <laughs>